All right, guys, tonight I am at home in my office. I am not at the scare house. I just received these today, and I was way too excited to open them. I could not wait. So that's why I'm doing it right down here in my office at home. Inside these boxes are two of the most awesome animatronics to come out at Spirit Halloween for 2024. If you haven't already guessed it, it's... Emily and Victor from The Corpse Bride. Guys, let me just tell you, when I first saw these pop up on the website, I did not think I was going to like them. I saw Emily in one store that I've gone to so far this season, and she was just mind-blowing. She looks exactly like the character from the movie. They did not have Victor set up, but when I got home, I started doing some research. I found some videos where I could hear them and see them perfectly clear, and man, I'll tell you what, these two are so absolutely awesome. I have yet to see Victor set up in a store, but when I saw Emily and her eyes blinked, I was sold. So tonight, we are going to set up both of these right here, right now in my office. Funny thing is, I haven't even seen the movie, guys. I saw a little bit of it one time and that was it. So I jumped on Amazon and I bought that too. So let's go ahead and just take a look at the boxes before we even begin. Look how awesome these are, guys. I cannot believe it. And this is actually the first time I am doing a double unboxing. I'm gonna do both of these in the same video. So let's take a look at Victor first. First, look at his face. Look at his whole build. He looks so cool from head to toe. Tim Burton's The Corpse Bride. Victor, servo motors give fluid motion to head for realistic movement. Eyes blink open and closed. Turns from side to side at waist. Interactive capabilities with Emily. That is my favorite part. Stands six feet at tallest point. Emily, Tim Burton's Corpse Bride. Let's take a look at her. Oh my gosh. She looks so absolutely amazing. I am so glad I bought these. Tim Burton's Corpse Bride. Emily, servo motor gives fluid motion to head and eyes for realistic side-to-side -side movement. Eyes blink open and close. Turns from side to side at the waist. Motion and audio compatible with Victor. Speaks lines from the movie. Stands 5 feet 8 inches at tallest point. There's a picture of the front of the box. And I gotta say, those are some of the best looking animatronic boxes I have seen. Let's go ahead and turn these both to the side. And there we go. We just have a picture full size of each of them on the side. Scan to see me in action. I think it's so cool that they're starting to put those things on the boxes. We got the back of the boxes here and it just gives you the basic information about each. And last, this side here, it just shows once again some more pictures of them. It shows that they have movement that goes back and forth and that they both speak. I think those are some pretty dang cool pictures right there. I am so excited to get down to unboxing these guys. All right, here we go guys. Corpse Bride, Emily and Victor. Let's begin with Victor. Okay, let's go ahead and get him opened up here. It's one of these boxes that slides out. I like that. That makes unpacking these things very easy and you don't have to destroy the box. We've got the arms. Look at this. I love how he's holding the ring. That is hilarious. One ring to rule them all. We've got his body here. Oh my gosh, look how tiny the shoes are. This is hilarious. <laughs> the shoe is like the size of my hand. Oh my gosh, that is too funny. All right, let's see, we got a mechanism here. It appears that this is glued to the foam, so I'm gonna leave it just like that. I don't think that's supposed to come apart. We got clothes, we got poles, another box, which is probably his head, and we got the base. All right, I am so excited to see his head. That sounded weird. I'm so excited to see his head in a box. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, it's huge. I am so glad I bought this thing. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is absolutely amazing. And what I really love about these guys is that they look is that they look exactly like the characters in the movie because in the movie it's animated. So they don't have to live up to trying to make it look like a real human. It just has to look like a cartoon. Oh my gosh, they killed it with this thing. All right, I'll set the head up here. I don't want to 
damage that at all. Okay, let's see. We got everything. We got the base. We got the poles. We got the tiny, tiny little shoes. We got the head. We got the arms. We got the torso. We got this part, the mechanism, power cord, clothes, and a little bit of hardware somewhere. Okay, here it is. Yeah, there's like one tiny little screw in there. Two screws. Okay, so two screws, power cord. We got it all. Let's get down to business. Okay, we're going to start him up here, and then we'll put him on the ground and finish him. Here's the base. Close up there for now. This shoe, I can't get over those shoes. <laughs> okay, one, two, shoe, shoe. Pull, pull. He's got a little tie here. Okay, there's his pants. I love how they're striped. Man, those are some seriously skinny jeans, guys. This guy is emo. Okay. Next up is this piece. And that foam does stay on there. Okay, had to get rearranged a little bit here. Next up is the torso. And that's this guy right here. Snaps right into place. And the foam stays on there as well. Okay, then we gotta connect some wires here. All right, I guess that gets tucked in there. <laughs> We've got two more wires here. Raise the shirt over the shoulder form. Those skinny legs just crack me up. Okay. Man, is he skinny. <laughs> skinny and tiny feet. Secure the tie around the collar. I guess that's how you secure the tie. Place the jacket with the vest and IR sensor over the torso frame. Oh, Velcro on the back. Okay. That makes it much easier. Oh my gosh, these arms are going to be impossible to get on. Look how skinny these things are. Clothes are really hard to get straightened up because they're so wrinkled. Okay, thread the left arm. So now I have to get this up through here and then hook it into there. Got it. Okay. There's one. Slide you over here a little bit, buddy. So you can stick your hand in the back and feel where the two holes are that this thing needs to hook into. All right, next step, the head. Okay, so we gotta put this together here. Heck, <laughs> come on, man. Goes right down in there. I guess we tuck the wires into the head. So here he is, oh my gosh. Are we done? Okay, so we're done setting him up. Um, sink cable set up. Oh, okay. So the sink cable comes with Emily. We're going to set her up in a minute. But she comes with a cable that connects from her to him. And that's what allows them to kind of banter back and forth. So let's go ahead and plug him in. Okay, so I got him plugged in. I have him on the sensor. So let's get him going here. Wait. I made a promise. He is amazing, guys. With this candle, I will light your way in darkness. With this ring, I ask you to be mine. With this hand, I will lift your sorrow. Your cup will never empty, for I will be your wife. So very cool, guys. I love the way he looks. I love the way he sounds. It, it makes me want to watch the movie. I cannot wait to watch the movie. All right, let's go ahead, set him aside. We'll get Emily set up, and then we'll put him together. Setting up Victor was definitely a success. I absolutely love that guy, and I am even more excited to get Emily set up. And it's funny because she has a smaller box, but she's heavier than Victor. What the heck, man? What you been eating, girl? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get her opened up here. And she has the same kind of box where the inner box just slides right out. And let's go ahead and get all her pieces parts out. Whoa, she has got some pieces parts, let me tell you. First we have the bony hand. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. Two arm, 
the voice box, wedding dress, bouquet. Oh my gosh, I love this thing so much. Instructions, yikers. Okay, we're gonna set this just like this. Don't want the YouTube sensors getting a hold of that. Probably legs, head in a box, and a base. Okay, let's go ahead and get the head out of the box because I'm dying to see that thing too. I love how animatronics and especially animatronics that are built after fictional characters, animated characters especially, they are larger than life. And here is Emily's head. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited right now. Take the bag off the head. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that purple hair. Let's get rid of your hair net. You ain't cooking my dinner. Oh my gosh, all right, I gotta take a look at it. Wow, oh my gosh, that is so cool right there. This must be the wire that connects the two. This is a USB wire. And of course we have the power cord. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Take a look at our instructions here just to make sure we have everything. All right, let's get started, guys. So we got the base, one leg, two leg, three leg, Four. I guess it's supposed to be like that. Place the dress over the frame covering the base. I've never put on a wedding dress before. <laughs> okay, I guess it just goes over it just like that. So we got her on the ground now. We need to attach the torso. We got a couple of wires inside. Match the wires, blah, blah, blah. We got this long one, which will be the sensor. Pull up the dress. Thank gosh. Sorry just to leave you all exposed there, little lady. Velcro. While we're at it, let's get this power cord plugged in. Run that down the back of the dress. Man, is she skinny too. Okay, there's that. So far, everything's plugged in. <sighs> Attach the right arm. Hmm, this is a different kind of connection than I'm used to seeing. It's got like a squiggly thing here. You put it on and turn it. Okay, oh, that's cool, I see. That's how her hands go together. Man, she is so skinny and bony. Bony Joni. Connect the hands to one another. Okay, and she's got Velcro on her hands too, so that they stay connected good. Next up is the head. I just cannot get over that. That is so awesome right there. Okay. Head is in place. Look at that hair. Oh my gosh, so awesome. These two are definitely some of the best looking animatronics I've ever seen. Next up is the veil. <laughs> and the veil has a couple of little things that stick up into her hair to hold it in place. And the bouquet. And that just goes right in there. Oh my gosh, she's so awesome. Power adapter, volume. Now, I do want to connect them together. So we have the USB cord, and this plugs right into the back of the voice box here. And then the other end will connect to Victor over there. So we'll finish her up here, then we'll bring them both together. We'll connect them and see how they interact. Let's get her plugged in and try her out. Okay, I got her set up here, guys. I have her on the sensor, so let's go ahead and get her going. You kept your promise. You set me free. Oh, now man. I can do the same for you. She is so awesome. Let's do it again. It's hard to keep her hair like away from her face and out of her eyes. I'd have to mess with it for a little bit to get it right. I think she has one more thing she says. This is wrong. I was a bride. My dreams were taken from me. Well, now, now I've stolen them from someone else. 
I love you, Vika. But you are not mine. So very cool, guys. I am so glad I bought these. All right, let's go ahead and get Victor over here. We'll connect them and then see how they interact with each other. Okay, we got them together, guys. Holy crap, do they look good. Let's turn them on and see how they interact. With this candle, I will light your way in darkness. With this ring, I ask you to be mine. With this hand, I will lift your sorrow. Your cup will never empty, for I will be your wife. This is wrong. I was a bride. My dreams were taken from me. So that was pretty dang cool, guys. If there was anything that I would change about it, I would have their interaction go a little quicker back and forth. He speaks first, and then he goes through the entire thing, and it, it completely stops before she picks up and starts going. So they take turns going back and forth saying their little phrases, but I wish that like right before he was finished, hers would start so that it would kind of overlap and it would be more like a conversation between the two of them. But man, I am absolutely blown away by these guys. They were absolutely worth every penny. Look at this, they're taller than me <laughs> and they're skinnier than me, let me tell you that. I'll have what he's having. <laughs> these may be my very favorite animatronics I've ever owned, aside from Hugs. Hugs is my all-time favorite. But wow, these guys are just absolutely awesome and worth every penny. There they are, guys. Wow, they are absolutely amazing in every way. I love these so much, and I am so glad I bought them. Now all that's left to do is watch the movie. 